I'm going to hand off the share the, the session now. I'll hand the session off to Tom, uh, and uh, he's going to run us through a combination of a presentation and some uh, some live sessions to show us uh, the features of the website. So, if there are any questions, uh, mm -hmm. post them on the chat or uh, uh, or, or uh, in, you know interrupt us. Morning, Rudy. And uh, we will uh, we will take it from there. Uh, Gus, like Les said, I'm Tom O'Neill. I joined uh, JAG a few years ago. I uh, started working with Les a couple of years ago, looking at what a new website could be. Um, he developed the last one using the best available technology at the time. It served us well for about five years, but there's some newer uh, website building engines out there, some platforms that would let us do some things we couldn't do with the old site, as well as look ahead at the JCNA, which we are uh, the annual general meeting, which we're hosting here in a few months. Uh, some of the things we wanted to do with that. So we've had the site up, as you said, since last summer. Uh, there have been some struggles some people have had, and there's still a quirk or two, which we'll go over today, things with the site engine that we're trying to work around. Um, so just as an intro, and by all means, ask questions. And on any of the pages of the website, if you can suggest an improvement, something we've missed, a feature or some text or anything else, let us know today or shoot a, an email to webmaster at jags.org. Okay, let's start with a quick look at the homepage and we'll go from there. Homepage, which most of you have probably seen, is the entry point we think, sorry, my mouse is acting up now too. <laughs> Trying to make this the place that people can come to find about JAG, learn about JAG, and for JAG members, see the events coming up. That was the thing that was expressed, expressed most to us, that people wanted to know what's coming up and find an easy way to register for it. We have special events like the JCNA AGM coming up. We put in a banner about that. It has its own page. Upcoming events are brought here automatically. Each one's listed, they're listed in chronological order. Each event has its own page. We'll go into those in some more detail. Here's another special event banner, the uh, International Jaguar Festival coming up this fall in October. That's a link off to the Jane JCNA Quibby. site. Join the meeting. And then for potential members, there's a chunk here, a little bit about us and some reasons why you should join JAG. We're always looking for new members. We're happy to have new members and new JAGs in the club. And this lets them easily see what's here, what the value is, and then go ahead and join online. There's a link to our advertisers who seriously support, support us with their financial uh, support by buying ads that appear on the website and in the JAG Gazette. We wanna support them. And if you do by chance visit a, one of our advertisers, let them know you're from JAG. That helps us. There's a gallery here from uh, JCNA's Instagram feed, which is pretty active. And then there's a consistent footer with links to our social media platforms and the JCNA and the Coventry Foundation. Okay, there. All right. There we go. So some of the limitations with the old site were there was no members only area, uh, couldn't accept credit card payments online. We had a limitation in the number of forms that were available and uh, it didn't adapt to different screens, uh, different devices. Uh, it also couldn't ex handle what we were expecting to need for the JCNA. So as I said, we launched this new site in uh, August of last year and has some features that we think meet all the criteria we had. It adapts to different platforms, from tablets to phones, allows public and private areas. Uh, the e-commerce store lets us uh, sell, if you will, goods and events with many more payment options, credit cards, PayPal, or Zelle. Um, and just for any event or purchase, we do prefer Zelle. It has no fees to either the user or to Jen. So that, that saves us a bit of money every time uh, a card or a payment is made via PayPal or credit card, they do take a few percent out. So if you can use Zell, it's available with most banking apps or websites, and it's it's free on both sides. That's that's a benefit for the club. Good support for event events, tickets, and reminders. Um, 
there is a uh, communications group created with each event, which we really haven't started using yet, but I hope that will be useful for last minute updates, uh, coordination of the meeting site, any last minute changes to route or schedule. So we'll get the uh, event leaders into using that over the coming year is my hope. Um, plenty of forums, linkages to social media and a, a newer look and feel. It's just a much newer platform we have. Okay. The main thing we want to cover today is why and how people should log in. That really helps us on the site. It helps you as a member. And then what that, that brings to you. Um, the login is up here in the upper right of every page. Um, once you log in, just put in your email and password. This is the email address you have registered with JAG. If you're already getting JAG email, as you should be, that's the address the site wants to see. You can change that. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's the site it wants to see. When you're a new member, you get a link to come in here and change your password. I think it does say uh, it's a forgotten password link, and we realize you haven't forgotten it. You're a brand new member, but it's the same link. So if you don't remember your password or this is your first time, just click the forgot password link, enter that email address, and it will generate an email to you. And I'll show you that. It is right here. It's just a simple email. It says to create your new password, click here. That's all you do. Go in, set a password, make note of it in your password manager or however you recall them, and you're good to go. Bear with me. I've got too many things going. <laughs> okay. The roster gives us access to the information you supplied with your application for membership as updated through Phil, if you have. Um, if you want to make changes to any of that data, you can log in and then use the update member data form. It's right on there in the about menu for the membership menu with the new membership application and the renewal form. Now, one thing about this website platform, your login email cannot be changed once your account is initially created. Um, you can change the address that the website uses to send you mail, that is your, your tickets, your reservations, that sort of thing. And certainly you can change it with Phil for the directory. Um, but your login email has to stay fixed. That's just a, a requirement of the platform we're using. Now, a real challenge we've had is in the roster. I'll go show you that. Yeah. In the roster, it <laughs> sorts things in a way that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the default is the most recent activity on the account. Uh, we do not have an alphabetical option. But the biggest problem is with this display name. Wix defaults in the name of privacy to the first part of every user's email address. They explained to us that they're not sure if someone's going to use their tool to build a site for a club where everybody knows each other like us or a store where they don't. And so they default to the most private way to identify people. Uh, unfortunately, even I as a site admin and less cannot go in and change someone's display name. And so far Wix has been unwilling to make an option for us to to set that to something that makes more sense for people that want to find each other. Um, each user can, however, go in and change their display name. All you have to do is go up to your name up here in the right, click my account, and there's your display name. Now, mine, of course, defaulted to T O'Neill 99. Somebody could probably still find me, but this is better. So this is the one thing we have to ask every member to do. Go into your um, account page here and update your display name to your actual name. I wish I could do it for you, but there's just no way to do it. I want to go back to the About page and just go through here very quickly. The About page has just some general information about JAG, some history, frequently asked questions. And here I would encourage people to suggest some others we could put in here, particularly new members. I'm sure there are questions you may have had that weren't answered by the website or here, and I'd welcome those suggestions. We can expand this as needed. And then here's a section that at less recently set up. We transcribed all the data from the Gene Baba Memorial Trophy, which I hadn't heard about, but I'm a fairly new member. So you might go in and take a look at this. This is really an interesting snapshot of our club's history. Uh, other areas under about. 
Um, there we go. Are the new membership application. Some of you have just gone through that. Renew membership. We do encourage people to renew online. Um, it makes Bill's life a little bit easier. He doesn't have to process a letter. Uh, you don't have to find a stamp to mail it. And it is this simple. First name, last name, email, notes if you have any. Uh, check agree to abide by the bylaws and a renewal option. And then pay online and you're done. It's very quick. One new option you'll note here is a checkbox for don't mail me the printed J Gazette. You can always access it electronically. Howard sends it out by email. And it's always linked here on the website. Many other clubs don't offer a printed newsletter. Um, we still do, but in order to save printing and mailing costs, we're asking people as of this month, if they don't really need the printed copy, just check this box. And over time, we hope to save some money for the club. It's a significant expense, printing and mailing out the Jenkins app. Uh, there are areas under here are uh, the bylaws, not going into those. And uh, the JAG shop. We only have a few things here, the stickers and different types of badges if you need additional ones or want an oval one. And JAG logo wear, that's a separate vendor. We've provided a, a master copy of our logo and they can provide clothing and accessories of all kinds with the JAG logo on them. We don't benefit from that. There's no profit back to the club, but it's a nice option for people who want some of those items. Okay, membership. Uh, JAG and JCNA member benefits. When I built this page, I learned some things about our benefits I wasn't aware of. So you might take a look. Even some of the older members may find something here you're not taking advantage of. <laughs> There's an insurance discount and others. So take a look at that. Um, the new membership application, renew. Uh, update member data is where you can go if you have, say you bought another JAG, you need to make note of that for the club or your address or phone or email has changed. Go ahead and use this form. It notifies Phil for the directory and it notifies me to make sure that information flows into your website profile. So this is the best place to update that data. Online communications covers the different, uh, the website and the different social media resources we have. Uh, the Groups IO forum has been a great discussion forum for years. There's a lot of good information there. Um, and then our Instagram feed. And one last thing under here, the recruiting cards. You may have seen these. Uh, you may have even been recruited by one. I'd really like to see members take advantage of this. There's a downloadable, printable letter size sheet of um, wallet cards here with basic JAG info and Phil's contact info. Uh, I keep a few of those in my wallet at all times and I try to pass them out to any Jaguar I see parked or someone I meet that happens to mention the word Jaguar if it's a car. If you want something a little different, the cards down below can be printed, a little more difficult, but it's postcard size. Uh, you can also pass on your printed J Gazette issues if you receive them when you're done with them. I do that as well. That's a really good advertisement for JAG. Okay, speaking of the J Gazette, here we go. It gets its own menu. Uh, Kristen Newbecker is our esteemed editor. Does a yeoman's job every month putting together the J Gazette. He's assisted by a design layout person and three proofreaders. You can always get to the current issue right here, this link. I try to put it up as soon as I see it electronically. It may be the one to your mailbox now and then. In any case, you can always get here. And then the Jay Gazette past issues, which were very carefully scanned in by Les Hamilton some time ago, going back to the early 50s, that was a huge job. They're available under the members area. So that's one of those member benefits. If you're a member, you can go search the entire archives of the Jay Gazette going back decades. Okay, now the main reason most of you will continue to come back to the website is the events area. We've got the individual events that we saw on the homepage. Uh, you've got a calendar, so it's the same list. Now I wanted to show these bubbles right here. These show the people that have bought tickets. 
if you're logged in, as I am, you can actually see the people's names that were logged in when they bought their tickets, which is a nice feature. You can see who's going that's already purchased a ticket before you. We've also got five anonymous guests. They're probably JAG members, but they just didn't log in before purchasing their tickets, so the site can't show their identity. This is just a nice idea benefit for your fellow members if you log in first before buying your tickets. Uh, buying tickets online is just as easy as renewing your membership. I mean, here, there's some detail, hopefully a relevant photo. Those who are going already, the guests that have bought tickets, a description. Take note, there's often a little read more section down here. Uh, Wix only allows so much for the description. If there's more, they make you click that button. Here's your tickets. Again, view more price options. There's almost always a member and a guest price. Choose what tickets you need. There's a link below to a map of the, usually the origin, the starting point of the trip. And then at checkout, it's just as easy as before. Add your de details. And again, if you're logged in, it automatically fills in your name and email. So it saves you a few steps. Companion name or whoever's coming with you, if anyone. Phone number. In this case, you've got meal choices for the driver and companion. Any comments? And then your payment. Uh, and it's just as easy as with renewal. Go ahead and pay via credit card or PayPal or Zelle. You can also, if you choose the offline payment, use Zelle or send a check to Phil if you like. It's your choice. We try to make it flexible. Okay, let's go back to events and the calendar. Now, these again are something that um, less set up and goes to great pains to maintain, especially the non jag events. He pulls in a lot of other motoring events that people might be interested in. You can always look here and see the what, the when, and the where. And then my job is to come down and enter these in the JAG calendar. And as you can see, I'm woefully behind. I've got the JAG events in here, but I need to go get the rest of them posted in here. So I've got some work to do this weekend. But this calendar is a really nice resource, and not just for JAG events. Thanks for less. Uh, the JCNA AGM signup has its own page. This is being used by people all over the country now. The club representatives to sign up for their hotel, their car, their AGM activities, and then come here and as the host, it's uh, ours to make it an excellent event. The past events gallery is one thing I particularly like and I hope our members will. Whenever event happens and people provide photos, I'll post the best of them here. You can go back, see yourself, see others. If you're thinking about doing an event that you haven't done before, if we've done it uh, a previous time, you can come here and see kind of what it was about, where it went. The details may change, but it gives you an idea of the flavor of the event. Like here's a poker run, get less organized. Really fun way to see your fellow club members and what the events are like. Also, if there's somebody you're trying to convince to join JAG, this is a great place to point them so they can see it's not just all about cars. It's really about the people. In fact, that's the tagline of this page. Come for the cars, stay for the people. Uh, let's see. On the past events gallery, if you have any event photos that you took, I would encourage you to send your best to editor at jags.org after each event, as soon as you can after each event. Kristen is always looking for great photos for the newsletter, uh, the Jag Gazette, the newsletter. I'm always looking for great photos for the website at large. That homepage should be updated frequently, that carousel of photos. And then I'll want to put event photos here soon after the event. So send those in, one or many. Uh, just send them to editor at jags.org. And if you would, send them to webmaster at jags.org as well. So Kristen doesn't have to forward them to me. Okay, let's move on to the members only area. Uh, let's just see. So the, the items under here that are only for members that are logged in include a roster or a real-time club directory. We looked at that a bit. Uh, can be tailored by each member with text and photos for your profile. <clears throat> we talked about how problematic the display <clears throat> name is. 
there are discussion forums similar to what's on uh, groups.io. Not terribly active yet, but I hope they will be. Unless a suggestion, we have them for each essential car category. So if you have, uh, say, a, a one, an XK140 question or an XKR question, there's a group for that. And hopefully, people with similar vehicles will be tuned into that and will look at the, uh, the posts and somebody can get an answer back to you. There's also a, a forum for website support, general communication support. So if you have a question, post it there. Um, you may see a question with an answer already. There are a couple. Uh, let's see. We talked about groups for communication. At the end of each event, when you sign up, uh, you're given the option to join the group. Please do so. I will admit we're not really using those yet. I'm hoping to get the event leads started on that. I think it'll be a great way to communicate that last minute information. Uh, chat is something the website includes. It's that little green button down at the bottom of, the, of each page that says members chat. And this is only member to member or member to group. Each person can set up their own groups. If you have a group of buddies you like to drive together or communicate together, you can create your own persistent group that's only seen by you. Uh, you can chat person to person, even if someone isn't online, they'll get a notification when they do get back on the website. And they should get a, an email that someone was trying to chat with them. So you don't have to ensure that someone is live online. That's a nice feature. I'd like to see us use that more. And then uh, Jeg is at past issues. I mentioned that Les scanned these in. That was a huge job. Um, let's go take a look at that because there's a little trick to it. There we go. Didn't want to share that page. <laughs> I think I'm maxing out my computer here. I need to build a new one. Uh, okay, Jeg is at past issues. Access them through the link down here. It opens in Google Drive. That's where we're storing them. It's part of our JAG admin account. Everyone with the link to this has access to this section. To look at one, uh, well, first let me note the name. Les has a really nice naming convention, so you can sort essentially chronologically just by clicking that arrow next to the name. You want the oldest or the newest and go from there. And then you can right click on one and see options, but Google has some suggested apps in here, which I really don't recommend. It's easiest if you just double click it. Every computer made in the last dozen years can open a PDF file. That's the best way to do it. And there you go. These can be really interesting to look through. So have fun with that area. Okay, okay. we will go back. Let's roll on to the resources area. I keep mentioning Les's name because he built the previous one and I've just reused a lot of his work. So I like to give credit where credit is due. This beautiful curated list of links was all Les. Um, everything you could possibly want that he or I could find online. It's almost all his. Parts suppliers, miscellaneous, it's all here. I don't think a lot of people pay attention to this, but if you're looking for something, start here. If it's Jaguar related, Chances are it's here. And if you find something we don't have, shoot a note to webmasterjags.org and I'll add it. Okay, other uh, resources, publications library. This is a set of books that, they're not club books, they're owned by individual people, primarily Les and Phil, but they've made them available or will make them available to loan to club members. So. Take a look at that. And if you have some of your own you'd like to offer up that are Jaguar related, I can add them to the list. Uh, the spinner tool is an item for sale for those with the knockoff wheel spinners. Uh, just let you peruse that at your leisure. Classified ads, members are entitled to free classified ads. Those show up here. Uh, I get the updates from Kristen, and so we try to keep the website synced with the JAG Gazette. And then last but not least on this menu, JAG Advertisers. Um, these folks really do help support the club with their ad dollars. So by all means, visit them when you need something and let them know you're from JAG and saw them through their advertising. That really helps us encourage them to keep advertising. 
if I can jump in here, if okay. you actually click on the uh, ad, it should take you to that vendor's site as well. Oh, great. Idea. Yes, absolutely. If I've done my job right, it should. There's Moss. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So it's yep. uh... getting help. Um, I've mentioned the webmaster uh, email address that goes to both Les and myself. Um, I would encourage you to play with the features. It really can't hurt anything. Um, but if you need help, look at the posts on the forums, particularly the Welcome to the Forum website forum, which is all about this site. Um, talk to a buddy, email myself. You can chat to Webmaster. Chances are I'm sitting at my computer or will be soon. Uh, or just call me. My number's in the directory and it's here. Happy to help. All right. And then last, as I've kind of browbeat you with this morning, we do encourage everyone to log in and to update your profile, especially your display name. Um, as an example, here, I'll just go do this. This is something I meant to do before. In the roster, there we go. Say you wanted to find, uh, Clive at XKS Motorsport. I think you could, well, he spelled it right. Clive. Well, there's Clive Hallett, one of our proofreaders. Good guy, but that's not the Clive you wanted. Now, I happen to know that if you type in shop, you will get, ah, sorry, I'll just click here. Clive Collins. Come on. There it is. And that entry is named shop because that's the first part of his email address. And I haven't gotten him yet to come in and <laughs> update his display name. I need to talk about that. This is just an example I put yesterday. This is the problem with that default display name. It makes it hard to find people. Um, if you knew his email address, you'd probably find them, but otherwise, no. So until we can get Wix to allow us to change that, that's why I'm um, harping on this. Not being able to find one of our key advertisers is a problem uh, when you want to be able to just use their name. So just be aware if somebody you know is in the club shows up as not found, it's just because of this display name problem. Okay. Um, that I think is everything I had. I'm sure there's more, but let me breathe and get a drink and see if anybody has any questions. Less in particular, what did I miss? Uh, I just, uh, res I'm just responding to a question from uh, Laurel uh, asking about the uh, dash cards, and uh, ah. we will send them, uh, send some to Laurel, uh, and then also you can uh, actually print them, uh, print them from the website if you wish uh, as well. Um, can we? Maybe go to show how to add photographs into your profile. Yes, excellent. Let's do that. <laughs> so, click on your name and then profile. And I've, I've done that as an example. Here are a couple. I'll put this into edit mode so you can see. And it's just this little about box. Oh, back to profile. Sorry. right here. There you go. There you go. You just click on it. You can edit. There's a photo button down at the bottom to add an image, add a video. Probably not a good idea to add a video. That'll take a lot of space and it'd be slow. You can have a divider, GIF, emoji, and then of course text by default. Just type anywhere you like. It's just that easy. There's no practical limitation to the number of photos. Um, but that is how you get them into your little about page, which is only seen on your profile. But I would encourage people to do that. It will help them know they've got the right person. We want people to show off their Jaguars, so you can have as many photos as you need. I know one of our new members uh, hit the limit when entering the number of Jaguars they had, and they said more than four. I love to see that, but this is where you can put information about all of them. Okay. There's another... Option under forums. Yeah, I was going to say. Suggested a way to publish 
photos that everyone could see. So we added one here at the bottom, member photos. Anything you publish here will be seen by everyone that's logged in. And that's just an example from the Tiburon Classic Car Show. There's Phil's car getting lots of attention as usual. Yeah. A steep silence. Yeah. yeah. So that's those are well, not of those photos. That's the videos in, right? Pardon? You reckon you're recommending not adding videos you could um we're we're paying for an, an intermediate plan which has a certain amount of storage um we're not quite sure they don't give us an easy way to see how close we are to the limit uh, video would use that quicker if you've got a great video you want to share i would say post it but just it may cumulatively trigger us into the next level it's not a huge bump in the budget it's just uh, something we need to plan for well, the, the other option is uh, if you want to uh, send me uh, the information, uh, I can add it to the JAG uh, YouTube page, and then we insert a link uh, on the website on our website as well. That's the other option that we can do. Yep. But uh, uh, we should. We should have a go at. Uh, we should have a you know uh, have a go at uh, uh, just checking out the um, uh, checking out uh, how videos work on the website. That's something that we've not had that much time to do. Yeah, and Glenn, I know you have a lot of great videos. So um, the YouTube channel is a, a good idea. I forgot that, Les. We definitely need some more content here, and as you can see, it's an easy link from our website to, at the bottom of each page. This is a subset of the JCNA uh, YouTube channel, and a lot of them, uh, in actual fact, uh, are on the, the the JCNA YouTube channel. But yeah, fine. But this is a place where we can we can put our our videos. Yep, we definitely need to add to our collection. Let me just maybe just, uh, show chat, and if we go to oh. yes. I almost did yeah. that, but I was a little out of. So <clears throat> this shows the people actually logged. Uh, well, yes, that we've corresponded with, but if you, <clears throat> See, everyone's listed here. Yeah. So if you know someone by email address, or if they happen to have a, an email address similar to their name, you can find them. You can search again. Let's try for Clive, but I think we're going to get that same result. Only Clive Hallett, not Clive Collins. So there's that limitation based on display name. Les has a test account. That's why there's two of them. I wish there were in reality two of them, but <laughs> I keep one of them very busy. Yeah. So. So yeah, it's that easy. Uh, but let's say, let's see. Here, I'll just I'll chat to Les. He knows. All right, there we go. And type a message. And it goes to Les. I've just sent just sent a a, a chat to a, a message to Tom, so it should appear as well. Yep. So it's. it's, it's that easy. It's a pretty nice feature. Came with the website. It also encourages people to stay on the JAG website and play there. So that's yeah. a good thing. All right. Well, that was a, a little ragged. I appreciate everyone bearing with me as I get used to Keynote as a presentation tool and Zoom. But um, I hope we covered the basics. It may have been a little rushed in areas. Uh, login limitations on the roster, the display name, um, logging in when you purchase events, and then just playing around, exploring what's there. Those are the main points I wanted to make. If you can't hurt anything, um, I encourage you to get in and change what you can, make it your own, update your profile, um, and use chat. Just start communicating with people and let us know what we can do better. Yeah, yeah, let us know if you've got material or if you think there's something missing or uh, we've something's in, you know inaccurate we uh it's a uh, the website's a living 
uh, living entity uh, uh, with uh, you know, a lot of input from Tom, some inputs from me and uh, from other members. So, uh, but uh, the more the more uh, it's used by the members, the the better. So, are there any uh, does does anybody have any questions for Tom or myself while we're while we're on here? Well, I, I have one here. I just uh, on my other screen here. I'm looking at the. Uh... The website, and uh, I scrolled down, and what caught my eye was the technical information page. Yes, and uh, so I just naturally thought, well, I just click on one of these, like the on online forums. And nothing happens. Oh. Oops. Local Let's experts, see. nothing. Okay. Forums under member, under the member menu. No, no, that's all technical. Front page, home page. The front page. If you go to the home page. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, yep, yep. I yep. scroll, scroll all the way down to where it says technical information. Yep. Sorry, it's a little jarring. I know. Technical yeah. information. Yes. The only one of these that is actually linked is the JCNA logo off to the right. Um, I could link the online forums. Absolutely, I could link that to the forums. I don't really have a place to send a local experts picture if I made that a link, um, but maybe we could. Yeah, maybe. that is. Let, let, let me, let's let's look at that. It, it is yeah. a, a gap. Uh, I mean, the one place is uh, that uh, uh, there's a 800 number that you can call a JCNA 800 number, and that puts you through to. Um, somebody who is uh, very knowledgeable uh, about a huge, huge breadth of uh, Jaguars, and he will either have the answer or, or find somebody that can get the answer. But uh, uh, we uh, we need a little bit more depth in that. So thank you. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, we'll look at this whole green bar here. What's there and what's not like? Yeah. We can improve that. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do we have any other questions or points? Uh, th this is Ron. I, I just think that Tom and Les have done an amazing job on this website. I mean, it, it's really incredible. Uh, this may have been covered, but is there a place to pose technical questions um, to the members uh, about, you know, what's the best way to do X or something like that? Yeah, I think that would be in the forums, uh, either a general yeah. one, there's a technical forum, mm -hmm. or in one of the model specific forums. Groups.io is still active as well, but I think it's kind of transitioning here. I think yeah, I mean, getting rid of that has got so much good historical information. Groups.io is kind of a, a backup, but uh, this is really the, the place. The, the other thing that uh, Tom didn't mention is that uh, with the website, we have the ability to send out uh, a mail blast. You receive probably a mail that were yesterday reminding you about this meeting that was generated by the website and it generates very, uh, very nicely formatted messages. So this is um, uh, the, the for these, this, these forums here are a you know, a good place to pose questions. Um, and uh, uh, there again, the more uh, the more that uh, uh, members use this, uh, the more we will see, um, uh, we will, you know, we'll, we'll build up a, a body of knowledge. So, but, so but these are third, these are third party sites, right? Uh, no, these are all members. Oh, these are internal forums, internal yeah. to yeah. Yeah. yes. These are okay. all internal I mean, to Now, under yeah. under the under the links page, we do have I think links to uh, uh, to Jag lovers and to uh, Jag Jag forums. I don't I don't think we've got a link to Jag F the Jag F pace forum, but they're. Uh, uh, you know, that's if if uh, if I want if I want to know about things, uh, this is a place I I, I typically go. My FPS, for example, is uh, the, uh, the check engine light came on, 
and uh, I've, uh, I put up an analyzer, found the code, and uh, didn't quite understand the code. And I went to Jaguar forums to understand what the, the code was telling me. So, um, and then I found another website with all of the uh, codes in that we need to add on somewhere. But uh, Jaguar forums is, uh, uh, is very well curated and uh, is, a, is a good place, a great place to go. It is. I've used it extensively. Even before I joined JAG, I was active here. Yeah. It covers everything. It's fairly model yeah. specific with a lot of lot of activity. Yeah. Yeah. My my point was that I, I think it's an added value to have the members interacting with one another directly on technical questions rather than the world at large on the uh, on, on yeah, the... that's true and uh say the, the the forums or the, the forums are the, probably the place to do it yeah thanks yep yep i'd like to see more activity here there's a lot of expertise in the club and um i think for every question there's an answer yes yeah. okay more. Do we have any uh, other the questions from any of the, uh, the, the any of the members? Hey, this is Dave. I don't have a question, but Tom and Lush, guys, I'm a new member. Uh, you guys did a great job. It, this looks great. I'm looking forward to diving into it. And uh, happy birthday, Tom! <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife will let me forget about him now. I kind of stopped celebrating a while ago, but we still keep coming. <laughs> All right, yes. thank you. No, that's well, great. We've had, uh, we got like currently got fourteen people logged on. Um, uh, Howard uh, Howard joined us from Hawaii, uh, so uh, uh, I see Dorothy in the background. Anyway, uh, as I say, we have uh, recorded this, and uh, I'll do a little bit of editing to uh, uh, you know uh, clean it up uh, in the lead in and the uh, the end, but. Uh, if there are any questions, or uh, we'll we will publish you know publish this and let everybody know where to find it. And then, uh, if uh, you have any questions or any difficulties with the website, uh, such as why doesn't te technical information take you anywhere? Uh, uh, that'd be uh, that'd just let Tom or myself know. That it would be great. We'd really appreciate that. So if there's no other questions, we will thank you for attending and uh, we'll wrap this up.